Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we have an awesome looking rustic style barn I think would be perfect for your survival world to keep your animals in check and in order while you're playing Minecraft. I had a few requests to build this as a tutorial since my last video so here it is and I do hope that you enjoy. Remember if you like it go down hit that like button, subscribe if you want more but with that let's jump straight in. First things first we're going to fly in take your top down view of the dimensions for the build. The yellow and grey blocks will be used for stripped dark oak. The white and blue will be used for spruce trapdoors and the green and orange will be used for a mixture of brick and granite. Then at the front of your build, which is this side for me, I'm going to take my stripped dark oak logs and I'm going to bring this one up by 5 and I'm going to bring these two up by 4. You want to copy that on the other side. And then come to the very back and copy that again with the inside one going up by 5 and the two on the outside going up by 4. At the back on top of these grey concrete blocks, we're just going to do one layer of stripped dark oak logs. Come to the inside, other ones that go 5 high, bring them all the way across to meet up with each other. On top of those ones that goes 5 high, place a temporary block, break that away and then connect those up along the top as well. On top of that, on the left come up by 2, on the right come up by 2. Then come in 1 and up, in 1 and up again and bring that all the way across. Then on the bottom, bring another layer all the way across once more. At the back, we're going to do a similar design to the front there, so again temporary block and bring this one all the way across. Then go two up either side, then three up beside those, another layer along the bottom, and then a temporary block connecting them along the top. Using a mixture of brick and granite, we're going to come to the side with their green and orange and just bring this up by four blocks again, just mixing it like that. Then at the back, we're going to go three high on top of each one of these stripped dark oak logs, again, mixing in the brick and the granite. Then on top of that at the back, we're going to do one more strip dark oak log on top, just like so. Finally, taking your strip dark oak once again on the little yellow blocks here to make a three gap, bring those up by four and then join them in the middle. And this is just the same on each one of these four areas on both of the sides of this barn. Then inside of this three by three gap, we're going to use spruce trap doors going up like so, with the very centre one being a oak trap door like that and then once you flip them up it creates a nice little wall like so. If you created the temporary blocks you can just replace again with some grass. Now that the main frame is in place we can move on to the roof. The roof will be split into two sections, the smaller side sections of roof and then the larger one at the top. The side sections are made from spruce slabs and you want to come to the very corner here, place a slab on the bottom half of the block there, there and then one to the left. Do the same on the other side, there, there and one to the right this time. Then the top half of the block you want to bring that slab across to meet in the middle. Off to the left now you want to bring those slabs down by a slab every time. So you get to here, you might need to place in some temporary blocks to do so. Until you do have one of the slabs hanging one block further out than your wall right there. And do that on the other side as well, coming down by half a block every time. You should end up with this shape, so what you want to do is come and take each one of these slabs here and just bring it all the way back until you get to the back of your build. Once you get to the back, you want to come out by one again from this block here and then bring that along by two the same we did at the front. Once you bring both sides back here and here, you want to take full spruce plank blocks on top of these stripped dark oak, then three slabs in the very centre filling in that gap, with slabs coming out of the front and the sides to create this smaller roof area. Then come underneath, fill in this little gap with a slab and a slab under that one as well. Do that on all four sides. Then you want to take some spruce trap doors and make this a little bit more rustic looking. On the second block, place a trap door, miss two blocks, a trap door, miss two blocks, then two trap doors, two blocks, one, two blocks and one again. Then in the next layer up we do the exact same thing here just to add a little bit more detail to these roofs. Coming around the back to finish off the little details we're going to add in a granite wall into these corner sections and then a spruce fence going all the way up until it meets with the slab above. Then take a spruce trap door and on the exposed gaps at the top we're going to add in a trap door like so with three more trap doors on the very centre of this roof section to complete the build at the back. Moving on up to the main roof section, we're going to use a mixture of acacia planks and stripped acacia logs with acacia wood on the very ends to hide the little pattern. So the roof shape is going to go one out from the block here up by two, then it's going to come in by one, in by one, and then along by five. So you should have a shape like this, a nice rounded roof there for the top. You want to copy that at the very back as well. And once you have those in place, we're going to mix in some of the acacia wood, like I said, on the end here, just to give a little bit more variety in the texture. 
And then once again, we're going to connect these up with the other side with a mixture of acacia planks and a stripped acacia logs. Once you've completed this roof, we're going to add a little bit more detail and a bit of a spruce bracing to that. So on the second block in, take two spruce trap doors, then three spruce stairs, another trap door, three spruce planks and do the same going the other way. So trap door, three stairs and then two trap doors once more. You want to leave a four block gap, one, two, three, four and then do the same again. Then you want to leave a two block gap, one, two. Copy what you have. Then another four block gap, one, two, three, four on the second block there and do the same bracing that we have done on those two. Connecting them up down the middle with a single spruce slab and adding some spruce fences to the corners there and there. Before the final bit of detail, adding acacia slabs and acacia trap doors to this roof section. We just want this to look a lot more run down, a lot more rustic. So adding these trap doors and slabs just randomly around in those little gaps until you think that it looks quite good. Your roof should end up something like this with all of the slabs and trap doors in place. Then come down to the last bit of detail here, we're going to add an acacia trap door trim just at the very bottom like this going all the way around your roof section. Get some more stripped dark oak logs now and on the inside where you have this gap bring these dark oak logs all the way back to meet with one another. Then at the very front we're going to work on this window section so take your spruce trap doors all the way across this top section. We're going to fill on this gap and then the second gap beside it. So you should be left with a two high three wide gap. Do a spruce slab on either side with spruce fences going up. Three spruce trap doors on the top there and then three more going along and that gives a nice little balcony window section at the front. And for the back we're just going to fill this entire space in with the spruce trap doors. And add a little overhang with spruce trap doors running along the top. Now most of the main structure for this barn is complete but we do need to add in the main doorway. So first of all come down to this left hand side and take your spruce trap doors from the inside, bring those up by five. Then turn and come to the outside and come up by five. Then you have two more layers on the inside. You actually want to replace these two near the second from the top with oak trap doors. And then place a dark oak fence gate right there and open it and that looks like a little handle. You can open the doorway. On the left hand side up against this column we're going to do a granite wall. Spruce fence, granite wall, spruce fence, granite wall. Against the walls we're going to do a spruce fence gate. And against the fences we're just going to do a spruce fence. And that acts as a nice hinge for this door to swing open and shut. For the other door we're going to have this one opened. So we're going to come in and face out that way and then two layers are going to come up by five from here. Turn and face the other way, this layer is going to come up by one thick and five high. Turn and face out this way with the final layer going up by five on the exterior. Once again, these top two want to replace with oak trap doors. And land down here, place your dark oak fence gate, open that up. And we're going to do the same design for the walls. Granite every second block, spruce in between those. Fence gates on the granite walls and fences against the fences we already placed in and that is a nice open doorway to let us get in and out of our barn. Coming on inside to start with the interior, we're going to add in a little ceiling here to split this into two layers. So in line with these granite walls here, we're going to come to the second layer of dark oak logs and bring those across too thick and all the way across to the other side. Then in those gaps, we're going to do a spruce slab on the top half of the block just filling all of this in. Then at the back here where this log goes across in the very centre, bring another log all the way to the floor, punch out that little hole in the middle and add in some ladders on this log all the way up and that's going to allow us up and down onto the second floor. So for the floor we're going to start off by doing the animal pen section. So we're going to do four, one in front of each one of these spruce trap door areas. So we're going to come in and punch away four blocks along and then four blocks out. In this space we're going to use a mixture of podzo. We're going to mix in some soul sand and we're going to mix in some soul soil just to make it look a lot more grimy and dirty where the animals are being living. Then for the rest of this floor I'm going to punch away all the grass up until we meet with the doorway and I'm going to use a mixture of oak planks with some coarse dirt mixed in for some texture.
Once that's in place, one other thing we're going to do is add in some brown carpet. So again, this just wants to be a bit more randomly placed around, nothing too spectacular. It's just going to look like bits of mud that have gathered up. But the good thing about this is we can break some of these away and place some hidden lighting underneath. Any lighting zones will work, torches are just fine. But if you want to use sea lanterns or glowstone or something else, then that is fine also. The next thing to do is add in some fences to divide up these animal pens. So in the centre section here, use some spruce fences and bring it up all the way until it meets with the roof. You want these to go four blocks out, so it's one further out than when we've done the little pen areas. And that's because we're going to do one more fence there, then two fence gates, fence, fence and bring it all the way back. This one can join the top and this one just goes up by one and that can be one little housing pen for pigs or sheep or cows, whatever one you would like. We're going to do the same over here again. One, two, three, four. Bring that up to the top. Bring this across by two and two fence gates in the middle. One extra one right there and that is one side done. Now two sides done. At the very top we can connect these up with some fence gates here and here just to make it look a lot more neat and tidy. And there we go, we have four little pens for our animals to live. So I've went ahead and added in some extra details to bring this barn to life. On the exterior, as you can see, I've added in some barrels, some chests, a lot more leaves and bone meal and things to the area. All in all helps this barn settle into this environment and all these chests and things do add all the detail that you could like. Hello sheep, that is pretty terrifying. But as you do take a walk on the inside, I've added a bit more of a broken up path out here. And in the pens themselves, I've added hay bales and cauldrons with some composters for food and water for these animals. Some lighting with lanterns hanging down. We do have the hidden lighting, but these add a little bit of visible light just here. And we do have our animals. We've got sheep there, cows over here. We have pigs and of course our horse. Some storage at the back and upstairs is much the same. I thought it works perfectly as a storage area for hay bales, chests, barrels, everything like that. Some cobwebs to make it look a lot more rustic and old with the theme of the build that we are going for. And with that, the build is complete and you have your very own rustic style barn, easy to set up and build early on in Minecraft and functional for your animals to live in while you play in your survival worlds. If you like the build and if you like the video, be sure to go down, hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this in the future. I want to thank you very much for watching and until the next one, bye bye.